Dumbbells versus barbells. Which is better for gaining muscle? How about for burning fat? Both dumbbells and barbells have been around for a long time, and both are irreplaceable pieces of equipment. But is one better than the other? Let's compare the pros and cons, starting with barbells. With a barbell, you get to use both arms on one bar, allowing you to lift a lot heavier of a weight load. Stabilization is typically made easier with barbell exercises, so not as much effort has to be dedicated to stabilizing the bar, and more effort can be dedicated to lifting a heavier weight load. Another huge advantage of a barbell is that you can rest it in places where you could never rest dumbbells. For example, with a barbell squat, you could rest the weight on your upper traps, allowing you to do much more weight than a weighted dumbbell squat. Actually, with a weighted dumbbell squat, you probably would exhaust your grip strength before you came anywhere close to exhausting your leg strength. Barbells are also much more efficient for people looking to develop explosive power with exercises like clean impresses, power cleans, and deadlifts. Barbells are also believed to help build more mass with exercises like barbell bicep curls over dumbbell bicep curls. This is probably due to the fact that you can grab more weight when using two arms with a barbell bicep curl. So it seems for sure that for strength and power, the barbells win. But what exactly do dumbbells bring to the table? Well, dumbbells are far better than barbells at training your stabilizer muscles and improving your coordination. In many exercises, dumbbells are better for getting more muscles or more parts of the muscle involved in the movement, also known as muscle fibers and motor units. Dumbbells are great at getting more of those involved in the movement. For example, with a dumbbell chest press, you can hit parts of your chest that you couldn't hit with a barbell because the weight load on the barbell is connected by the bar. You have a lot more resistance as far as horizontal abduction and adduction goes with dumbbells, which again, just means you're recruiting certain motor units and certain muscle fibers that you're not recruiting with a regular barbell press. With a barbell press, you'll be able to hit your triceps a lot more, and with a dumbbell press, you'll incorporate biceps for stabilization and less triceps. Another huge advantage of dumbbells is that you can concentrate on one side and you could work each side individually. This is especially great for beginners with lagging muscle groups or with muscle strength imbalances. For example, if your right bicep is significantly stronger than your left bicep, dumbbells give you a chance to correct that strength and balance. There are also certain exercises that allow you to hit your muscles from a different angle that can only be done with dumbbells. For example, the angle that you get from a dumbbell concentration curl is going to be pretty difficult to match with a barbell. The other big advantage of using dumbbells over a barbell is that they're a lot safer. I've given out with both dumbbells and barbells. And during a chest press, let me tell you from experience, it's much safer and easier to just drop the dumbbells down to the ground rather than roll a barbell down your chest and your ribs. When it comes to really heavy weight, both barbells and dumbbells can lead to an injury, so make sure that you always have a spotter. Actually, speaking of injuries, dumbbells are usually the safer bet when you have joint problems because they allow a freer range of motion than the barbell, allowing your joints to travel along their most natural path during open chain exercises like presses and rows. I've had a lot of clients that couldn't bench because their shoulders would hurt and when we switched to a dumbbell press, they were absolutely fine. I've also had other clients with mobility issues that couldn't grab a barbell behind their neck due to poor shoulder flexibility more specifically the rotator cuff. And even though the goal with these people is to eventually get them to the point where they have more flexibility in their shoulders, it's really good to have dumbbells available for those people that lack the range of motion in their joints. One last major advantage of dumbbells over the barbell is that they can provide a greater range of motion for certain exercises. A greater range of motion makes the exercise more effective on the muscle being targeted. I'm gonna use a dumbbell chest press versus a barbell chest press as an example once again. With the barbell, you can only go so low because the bar will eventually hit your chest and you obviously won't be able to get any lower than that. With a dumbbell chest press, you can really stretch down as low as you're comfortable with. Of course, if you have issues with your joints, you wanna be careful going too low. But either way, the dumbbells will typically allow a greater range of motion than a barbell. So now that you know the pros and cons of each, it's pretty obvious that each has its own uses and benefits. One is not inherently better than the other. The best strength and muscle building programs include a combination of both barbells and dumbbells. So you can experience the benefits of both of these 
they both bring different benefits to the table. And these are two pieces of equipment that I always highly recommend you should get access to for your workouts. For fat loss, barbells and dumbbells both have a very similar effect, so you can tone up with both. If you have to choose between getting barbells or dumbbells, it's a pretty tough choice. A traditional barbell and the weights required would most likely cost a lot less than a bunch of sets of dumbbells. You don't need a lot of plates because you can combine them to achieve various different weight loads with the barbell. With a dumbbell, you do have the option of getting the adjustable ones with plates, but you'll usually find that those are very uncomfortable, especially for exercises in which you have to rest the dumbbells on your legs for like a chest press, for example. If I absolutely had to pick, if money wasn't an issue and I was more concerned about working my upper body, I would definitely pick dumbbells. There's just more you can do with a variety of different dumbbells for the upper body. However, if I was picking the, between the two for the lower body, it would be a no-brainer and I would have to go with the barbell. Exercises like squats and lunges would be really hard to do without a barbell because the heavy weight load would have to be supported by your hands and your grip strength. Another thing that would influence my decision about picking between the barbell and the dumbbell would be my goal. Am I trying to bulk up? Am I trying to build muscle? Am I trying to purely focus on aesthetics? Or am I more concerned about increasing my strength and my powerlifting abilities? For aesthetics, if I had to pick between barbells and dumbbells, I would have to go with the dumbbells. For strength and for power, it would be a no-brainer. I would have to go with the barbell. The good news is that nowadays you don't have to choose between the two. There's gyms that cost roughly $20 a month and they have both barbells and dumbbells. So I think that every gym should have both. And no, that Smith Machine barbell does not give you the benefits that a real barbell that's not locked into a range of motion will give you. So make sure your gym has regular dumbbells and regular barbells available. This way you can get the benefits of both. That's it guys, I really hope this video has helped you out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also visit my website, gravitytransformation.com where you can get much more than just another workout and diet plan. I'll see you guys soon. Pump it.